It was hard looking at them, fate more than it was to look at him. <clears throat> because they the one that took his life. Seven News was inside the courtroom as an upstate mother faced the young men charged in her son's death. State investigators announced two arrests today in the deadly shooting of Dalton Moore. These are the two facing charges tonight. Devin Ruddell is charged with murder and Lorenzo Calderon is charged with accessory after the fact. They're both 18 years old. Well, that shooting happened at a community center in Calpins last Friday. And we are hearing from the victim's family after they spoke with 7 News after the bond hearing today. Our Nikkel Smith has been following this story. She's joining us live from the detention center tonight. Nikkel. And Tom and Amy, a bittersweet day here at the detention center for Dalton Moore's family. They say they're one step closer to justice and hope their pain is a lesson to the community. I was pleased. And then when I got here, it was hard. An emotional roller coaster as Tracy Cantrell first saw who's charged with killing her son. Possibly the death penalty if you were found guilty. At 19 years old, Devin Ruddle is charged with murder in the shooting death of Dalton Moore at the Timken Community Center in Calpins last Friday. Moore was 18, the same age as Lorenzo Calderon, who is charged with accessory after the fact of murder. 15 to 30 years if you're found guilty. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division says both Calderon and Ruddle were arrested Saturday on drug charges. This is sending a message to the community that we all need to help these young people. A judge denied bond as Cantrell couldn't hold back the tears while sitting just feet away from both suspects. Oh, it was a relief. It was a relief to know that they wouldn't back out on the streets. Cantrell says she hopes her son's death shows the need for a change in the community. That violence is not the answer. You know, to pray for one another. And these young kids need somebody. A need she says she's motivated to address as she leans on her faith for strength. Because if it had not been for his mercy, I know I couldn't endure it. A journey she continues, keeping her son's murder suspects in her prayers. And no matter if they took my sons, God still loves them. Both of those suspects must now go before a circuit court judge for another bond hearing. Reporting live at the Spartanburg County Detention Center tonight, Nikkel Smith, 7 News. Nikkel, thank you. And the suspect's first court appearance is set for July the 20th.